unclaimed voters' cards at the collection center in Abidjan. The election commission says voters have claimed less than 42% of the cards. Some say that illustrates how many people in Ivory Coast feel about the presidential election. I will not vote under the current circumstances because you can only go where your safety is assured. I don't see such conditions in place. I'd rather stay home. In the run-up to the vote, dozens of people have been killed amid escalating political tensions. That in a country is still recovering after months of pre-election violence in 2010 and 2011 that left about 3,000 people dead. Incumbent President Alassane Ouattara is running for a third time against an independent after two other candidates boycotted the election and called on supporters to disrupt the polls. For me, I find this election a bit strange. Every party started the campaign well, then we hear of a boycott. It's so confusing. I think we should proceed with the vote to avoid a repeat of 2010. But I can tell you everyone is scared. People haven't forgotten 2010. The literacy rate here is 47%, an area many voters will want to see improved. With an average of 7% annual growth, Ivory Coast's economy is doing well and better than much of Africa. But many of its young people say they feel left behind. For some, ready to cast their ballot, they expect much from the next president. I would like the next president to be a leader for the whole country a man who will develop the country, someone who will improve healthcare delivery and security. He should also improve education because of the high level of illiteracy. Importantly, he should provide jobs for the youths. Meeting these expectations won't be easy for a country whose revenues are tied to fluctuating commodity prices. In addition, people here will want to see whoever wins this election tackle the difficult task of reuniting a deeply divided country. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera.